tonight on MTG Unpacked we're continuing our unboxing of the Eternal Masters booster box. Uh, we've gone halfway through the box already. Uh, we've got a couple of decent pulls but nothing too exciting yet. So let's see what we get in this second half. Second thoughts. These are just our commons. Skulking Ghost, Thornworld Archer, Stupefying Touch, Coalition Honor Guard, Orkish Oriflam, Wake of Vultures, Dismal Backwater, Tragic Slip, Seismic Stomp, Invigorate is an uncommon, Juggernaut, Ancestral Mask, oh cool, there we go, Mythic Jace, the Mind Sculptor, need to get this one in a sleeve, excellent, our first Planeswalker, we'll put him over here, and let's see, so these Then we also got a Wake of Vultures foil. Very cool so far. I think that Jace is about $65. So that's a huge pull for this box. Next up, Belly Knot Cohort. Light Soil Druid, Mog Fanatic, Shelter, Silent Departure, Yavima Enchantress, Cephalid Sage, Swiftwater Cliffs, Werebear, Phyrexian Rager, Gitu Slinger is our first uncommon. Jetting Glass Kite, Cabal Therapy, and a Sinkhole Rare. White Mane Lion Foil. That's pretty cool. We have a Dragon Egg, Benevolent Bodyguard, Carrion Feeder, and we have an Avalanche down here, Wildfire Emissary, Yavima Enchantress, Cephalid Sage, Nimble Mongoose, Swiftwater Cliffs, Counter Spell, Phyrexian Rager, a Uncommon, Blood Braid Elf, Prodigal Sorcerer, Mishra's Factory, and a Regal Force, and a Foil Thornwood Falls. Next pack we have Duress, Borderland Marauder, Rally the Peasants, Deathbridge Shaman, Cephalid Sage, Nimble Mongoose, Peregrine Drake, Firebolt, Pilgrim's Eye, Tranquil Quo Cove, it's a tongue twister, Honden of Life's Web, Fact 
or fiction, Phyrexian Gargantua, and a glare of subdual, and a foil firebolt. Next up, we have a Carrion Feeder, Wildfire Emissary, Welkin Guide, Deathbridge Shaman, Cephalid Sage, Yemvima Enchantress, Thornwood Falls, Carbon Eyes, White Mane Lion, Nausea, Uncommon Battle Squadron Chalcederm Cabal Therapy and a Vindicate Rare and a Thorn World Archer Foil Next pack we have Humble, Duress, Undying Rage, Squadron Hawk, Silent Departure, Abundant Growth, Core Hookmaster, Firebolt, Seal of Cleansing, Sentinel Spider, Milliken, uh, Uncommon, Tooth and Claw, Price of Progress, and a Baleful Strix Rare. And we also get a Fog Foil. Next up is a Welkin Guide, Dead Bridge Shaman, Peregrine Drake, Elvish Vanguard, Faithless Looting, Emperor Crocodile, Jungle Hollow, Tidal Wave, Tragic Slip, Bloodfell Caves, Uncommon Faith's Fetters, Honden of Cleansing Fire, Thunderclap Wyvern, and a Nevin yeah, Nevin Neural's Disc. If you can pronounce that, let me know in the comments. That's a uh, rare. We also get a oh nice tidal wave foil. Shift things around here a bit. We have a Wildfire Emissary, Benevolent Bodyguard, Elvish Vanguard, Gaseous Form, Shoreline Ranger, Eye Blight's Ending, Dismal Backwater, Faithless Looting, Emperor Crocodile, Jungle Hollow, Shaman of the Pack, Uncommon, Timberwatch Elf, We Dragonauts, and a Siege Gang Commander Rare. We also get a Silvos Rogue Elemental 
foil foil rare actually so that's probably good we've got four packs left not doing too badly so far I think there's some good cards here but we can probably do better next up we have Knight's Whisper Undying Rage Nimble Mongoose Peregrine Drake Faithless Looting Emperor Crocodile Jungle Hollow Tidal Wave Tragic Slip Bloodfell Caves Beetleback Chief is a uh, Goblin Uncommon Wonder Pyroblast and a Mother of Runes and we get a Intangible Virtue we can focus on that foil Starting us off with a Knight's Whisper, Mog War Marshal, Ballynock Cohort, Commune with the Gods, Stupefying Touch, Reckless Charge, Deep Analysis, Rugged Highlands, Wake of Vultures, Elephant Guide, Necrotal is a uncommon Senjir Autocrat Wall of Omens and a Jewel Caster Mage and a stupefying touch foil. Only two packs left. What are we going to get? Where's that force of will? We have a Ballynock Cohort, Blight Soil Druid, Mog Fanatic, Memory Lapse, Abundant Growth. Nature's Claim, Twisted Abomination, Monk Idealist, Reckless Charge, Deep Analysis, Roar of the Worm is our uncommon, Necrotal, Senjir Autocrat, and an Icored rare also get a Urborg Uprising foil last pack what's it gonna be Got a Plague Witch, Dragon Egg, Benevolent Bodyguard, Gaseous Form, Elvish Vanguard, Scor Scoured Barons, Twisted Abomination, Pacifism, Blossoming Sands, Emperor Crocodile, Glimmer Point Stag, Flame Jab, Hydro Blast, and a Death Rat Shaman Rare, 
And we get a Woken Guide foil. So that's the end of this box. We'll return in a moment with a tally of the value for the whole box. So adding up the all the cards, the uncommons, the rares and the mythics uh, that are above a dollar, the total comes to $224.20. So that's quite a bit more than I paid for the box. I'm very happy with that. Uh, the bulk of that was from our Jace Mind Sculptor. Uh, that was like $65. Sneak Attack was about $20. And uh, Necropotence, I think that was like $10 or $12. Um, the, a couple of surprises here. The Entomb was about $18. Entomb Foil. And the Young Pyromancer, that was 7 or 8 And we had some assorted, um, you know, like $5, $2 random selection in here. No huge value, but it all adds up. So that's uh, first Eternal Masters box. I uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more unboxings of Magic the Gathering cards. And have a great day.